Today's lesson is 9.4, the percent equation. This is the percent equation. Everyone say P times of equals is. P times of equals is. All right, so yesterday and the day before, we talked a lot about percent. We talked about a proportion. Do you guys remember what it was that we said the two proportions were that we talked about yesterday? Is over of equals P over 100. This is another way of finding the same exact information that we were finding the past couple days. The one thing you have to remember, and this is what everyone tends to forget, is something about the P. What should we remember about it? Change, change the percent to a decimal. Please make sure that you change the percent to a decimal, and then it will be very easy to do these kind of problems. At that point, all you're doing is you're discovering what the of, the is, and then your percent is. The of is going to be your total, and then the is is going to be your part. So we're going to do a few examples that will look similar to what we were doing the past couple of days. This is asking us to use the percent equation to answer the question. So this looks super similar to the kind of questions we had before, but the difference is you're not using a proportion. So we're not using is over of equals P over 100. We are instead using the percent equation. Let's break this down. I'm going to need to figure out first off what the percent equation is. What is it, guys? P times of equals is. is. P times of equals is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and break down the original question. First part. It says, what number is? Okay, is that my is, my of, or my P? That's, no. That's the is, okay. 20%, what is that going to be? The P. That's going to be the P, all right. What's the last part that we're going to break down? Of 110. Of 110, okay. I want you guys to go ahead and underline and circle that, just like I did, because this will help you to discover and figure out exactly what your P, your of, and your is will be, okay. So right now, let's look at the percent equation. P times of equals is. Do we know what our P is? Yes. What is it? 20%, okay. But remember what you just wrote in your notes. You have to change the percent to a decimal. So what is that going to be? 0.2, all right, so let's go ahead for that right there. You're going to go ahead and write down your P is 0.2. Next up, of, what is my of? 110. 110, so I'm going to be multiplying it by 110. Then it says equals, what's my is? What number? It says what number is, so we don't know what it is, so it's going to be an X. This is pretty simple. There is nothing that I can do on this side, but there is something that I can do on this side. What is 0 0.2 times 110? 22. 22, all right, so 22 equals X. When I go back to my original problem, it says, what number is 20% of 110? Is that a number or should I put a percent next to it? Number. It's a number and we wanna keep it as a number, so the answer is 22. 22 is 20% 20 of 110. Any questions? All right, let's try the next one, problem two. Write this down. Number two is asking us what percent of 75 is 36? I want us to break it down by underlining and circling and identifying what my P, my of, and my is will be. The first two words, what's it say? What percent, what percent. What percent okay? So we're trying to figure out what percent. What's the next two words say? Of 75, and the last two words uh, is, 36. is 36. Now that we've identified, that kind of helps me understand my P, my of, and my is. <laughs> Asia, what is the percent equation? P times, P times of equals is. Isabel, what's my percent? Um, what, X. X, or I'm just going to keep it as a P because that reminds oh. me to make it a percent, okay? But you could do an X if you wanted to. Jakari, what's my of? Good job, because it says of 75. And Kyla, what's my is? 36. 36. This is just like all the problems we've done where you're trying to get the variable by itself. Alex, how do I get P by itself? Very good. You gotta divide by 75 on both sides. So the left side, when I have 75 over 75, this will cancel out, and I'm left with, on the left side, just plain old P. Emma, what is 36 divided by 75? Okay, very good job, 
Now, as I go back to my original question, I see it says what percent of 75 is 36? Does my answer right now look like it's a percent? No. no. What do I have to do to that to make it a percent? Move, Move, the, decimal two Move the decimal two places to the right. So what's my answer? 48%. 48%. If I go back now and double check, my question says what percent of 75 is 36? 48%. Okay, so always go back, double check the original problem just to make sure your answer makes sense to what it is asking. Number three, 45 is 90% of what number? If I break it down, this is telling me 45 is, that's going to be my is, this will be my P for my percent, and of what number is unknown, so I'm not going to know my of, okay? What is the percent equation, guys? P. Everyone say it. All right, what's my P? 90%. Okay, now here's where a ton of people messed up. They forgot to change the percent to a decimal. How many of you would raise your hand and say you forgot to do that as you tried to do it on your own? That's the most basic and simple mistake that most people make. Okay, so try not to forget. What's my of? We don't know. It's unknown, so we'll just make it an X. What's my is? 45. Okay, once again, because it's right here, it says 45 is. Your goal is to get X by itself, so you have to... What do we have to do, guys? Divide. Divide by... By 0.9. Okay, okay, so please be careful. A lot of people are trying to divide just by 9, but you want to divide by 0.9. Now, all that's left is putting this into your calculator, all right? What is 45 divided by 0.9? 50. Now let's go back and double check. Here's what the question asks. 45 is 90% of what number? Did my answer come out as a number? Yeah. Yes. yes. So your answer is 50. All right. 50 is what percent of 250? We're going to break this original problem down into three parts. What's the first part for my is, my of, and my p? Okay, no, no, no. Read me the original problem. What's the first part? 50 is. What's the next part? What percent? What's the last part? Of 250. If you break it down, that's going to help you discover or identify what the is, the of, and the p for percent is. Okay? Landon, help me out. What is my percent equation? Very good. Katie, what's my p? We don't know it, so we're just going to keep it as a p. Isabel, what's my of? 250, so we're multiplying it. And then, Alex, what's my is? 50. Carlos, how do I get P by itself? Good job. Divide by 250 on both sides. We know that this cancels out, leaving me with P equals. Put it in your calculator. 50 divided by 250. What's the answer? 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.2. 0.2. Now, does that look like a percent? Nope. No. How do I change 0. 0.2 to a you percent? Move, over two spaces. move it to the right two spaces. So what's my answer? 20%. 20%. Once again, go back, double check. The original problem says 50 is what percent of 250? Your answer comes out as 20%, so you know that's correct. What number is 29% of 88? If you separate it, what number is 29% and of 88? For those who did not get this one correct, I think if you had di dissected it just like this, you would have understood what your P, your of, and your is is a little better. Okay, Landon, what's my percent? 29%. This is also where a bunch of people just messed up. What do you have to do to that percent? Move it to the left. Change it to a decimal. So what would that be? 0. 0.29. 0. 0.29. What's my of, guys? 88. 88. What's my is? X. X. Guys, what is 0. 0.29 times 88? 25.52. 25.52. Okay, now listen. A few people had asked me, do I need to round this or not? The only time that you're going to need to go ahead and round is if it's one of those numbers that's like 0. 0.385621952195. Does that make sense? Yes. Or if it's something that says it's repeating. We don't want something that's going to go on and on and on and on forever. But because I can clearly see that it stops at 25.52, you do not need to round that answer. Okay, does that make sense for when you need to round or not? All right. 
Okay, story problem here for a real life scenario. All right, a shoe salesperson sells a pair of shoes for $125. The salesperson receives a 9% commission on the sale. How much is the commission? Do you guys understand what a commission is? No. no. Okay, listen, the salesperson works, but he might work for you know a few dollars an hour, not that much. The commission is almost like their tip or another way that they earn the extra money, okay? So they might get $5 an hour, but on top of that, they get a commission. So if they sell a pair of shoes, they get a small part of that pair of shoes. That money comes to them, okay? So do you think if a commission is 9%, is it going to be bigger than $125 or smaller? Smaller. Okay, it's going to be smaller. So let's just think P times of equals is. If you look back at the beginning of your notes, you can see your of is your total and your is is your part. So even think about when we did is over of equals P over 100. Is over of was part over whole, okay? So let's just think while using our percent equation, P times of equals is. Do we know our percentage? Yes. What is it? 9%. 9%. What would that be as a decimal? 0.9. Not 0 0.9, 0 .09. 0 0.09. Now, of, is my of the part or the whole? Um, part. Look right here. Of is the whole. whole. Okay, so what's the whole amount of the cost of the shoes? $125. $125. Now, we're trying to figure out what the part is. As you can see right here, is is the part. We're trying to see what part of that $125 this salesman gets to keep for himself, okay? Guys, what's 0 .09 times 125? $11.25. $11.25. So this salesperson, on top of being so happy that he got to sell a pair of shoes, he also gets $11.25 of the cost of the shoes goes to him almost like a tip because he sold them, okay? So the answer is $11.25. An art gallery receives a 10% commission. So once again, it's kind of like what we talked about with the salesperson. They get this commission on paintings that are sold in their gallery. If the gallery sells $245 worth of art in one day, what commission is given to the art gallery? All you're going to do, if you remember, is you're going to take your percent, change it to a decimal, and multiply it by the total number of sales that they had. So what is my percent changed to a decimal? 0 .1. 0 0.1. Multiply it times what? 245 dollars, and that's going to give me the total. When you do that, what's your answer? Twenty-four dollars and fifty cents. Twenty-four dollars and fifty cents is the commission that the art gallery will get from that selling art in one day. Okay, make sense. How many of you like the percent equation better than the proportion is over of equals p over 100? On your quiz coming up on Monday, some of them will say use a proportion. Some of them will say use the percent equation. And other ones, you can do it whichever way you like best, okay? Tonight's homework is from pages 434 to 435. So go ahead and write this down for tonight.